today uh, we are talking about the positioning and the portal placement of the wrist arthroscopy as we all know that uh, the extensor compartment of the wrist has got six tendons and the portals of the wrist and uh, wrist is based on that if you talk about the positioning we do it in a supine position we keep a, uh, a attraction here count attraction here and a counter attraction here and we try to increase the traction so as to increase the space there are two two spaces to work on the first space is a radio carpal space and the second space is a mid carpal space now here the radio carpal space can be divided into portals so as per the extensor compartment of the wrist you can have a uh, 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 6 8 portals so if you see here if you see here this is the most commonly used portal this is called as a 3 4 portal which is the initial portal working portal or weaving portal this is the 4 5 portal and then we have a another area here and then you have 6 u and 6 r portal here we usually avoid making bowler portals the second important thing is you must be aware that a uh, normal wrist joint has a bowler angulation so it has an angulation like this so whenever you are doing a wrist scopy you need to insert the needle and the scope in little bit 15 to 20 degrees direction uh, down direction that is very important and the other work the if there is a tfcc tear you need to work in this particular area and here there will be some sort of sensory nerves so you need to expo expose and then evaluate also there can be sensory nerve in this area also so whenever you make a portal you just make a small nick and then you just dilate it dilate the skin with the artery with a mosquito artery forceps let's start the